67 IH Farmer here. I'm just taking a look at my Cub Cadet 125. Maybe soon to be 145. Who knows? Um, so what I what I'm gonna what I'm planning to do today is uh, take some measurements and write it on this piece of paper, write a sketch, and take some measurements of the machine. Cause I want to put a loader on this. That's why I want the extra two horsepower to operate the loader. So let's, get, let's make a rough sketch of the machine. You got the front wheel here, the little rim and the axle, and it the frame sticks up just slightly in front of the front wheel, and it goes back quite a ways actually. Make that there, and you got the rear fender, you got the rear wheel, and the five bolts. You got the hub, and then uh, you got us going out and coming back in and going out again. Just get it. You're going out like this, coming back in quite a bit, and going back out again. And that, I gotta fix that actually. It's not such a steep angle. It comes out like this. Uh, that's about seat height, so it keeps going up like that, and you cut across to about there, and go down at a less of an angle. So this right here is pretty steep. And you got the hood. Comes straight across from here, like that, and this, and here it goes down like that. And you got the box where the dry shaft goes. It comes in like you know, right about here, and it cuts across here, and then and it goes like that. And you got your frame. That's six inch C channel. Like that. And this, like that, you got your seat, your steering wheel, and this is not supposed to be pretty, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make this on CAD, I just need to mention, and you got your stack sticking out. Right, so we need the measurement from uh, the height of the hood. And everything's going to be in inches. Make a note on the bottom. And then we need the hood length. And then we need the footrest length. There's a footrest here. draw a line so I can rate the dimensions right there and then the frame length from where I want the controls so when the controls right here which from here from here to there and I want from here to say here Uh, so take some dimensions. Sorry, this is taking quite a while. So we want the controls up by the steering wheel. So we'll go from the bottom of the footrest to where we want them. That's 22. So we'll write that down. So that is this one. 22. And then we need the length of the footrest. 14. And 
And then from where you want to have it, I want to have the arms feel like this, where you got the pin right there, and it comes down like that, and then, because I want to match this angle here, so I'll go down like that, and then come straight down, because I kind of need it like right here, so I can step in real easily, see how big my boot is, so I want, I want to be able to slide my foot in there. Twelve inches, so we got two inches there. So we'll go from here and make a little line. I ain't got nothing here to make a line with. So we'll go from there on the fender to the front of the machine. From there on the fender to the front of the machine. That is 27. This is 27 inch. And then uh, got the height and hood length. 28. And the height of the hood, the height of the front of the tractor. This is kind of hard doing everything one handed. Got that up there. Make sure it starts swinging. Uh, 21. And of course, the front wheels, they're uh, 16 and a half, I think. Yeah, it's 16 inch. And the back tires. They're 23. Uh, with to the front of the tractor. So we gotta go from the other side. Cause this dictates how much uh, C channel we need for the subframe. There's literally no strength in the tape measure going this way. I wonder if my good tape measure is in the shed. No offense to Harbor Freight, but you know, you can't get all, all that stuff. Alright, so we're going to go from there to the front. 